What's up, everybody? It's Dad to bring you guys another video. Nintendo Domination. I got two unboxings for my Nintendo fans out there. Shout out to Days Having Enough 187. Shout out to Afterlife Battlefront. Shout out to Hydro uh, Fang. Fam. <laughs> I like to say that. Uh, shout out to all the Nintendo gamers out there. Shout out to Nintendo haters out there. Again, Nintendo is dominating, slicing dice left and right with the games they're releasing. I mean, Nintendo is destroying the competition. And I love Sony. I, I love Microsoft. Now, I've always told you I hated Microsoft initially at first, but Microsoft has been doing a lot of good things, man. I'm telling you, with the Xbox One, I mean, a lot of crossplay with a lot of their games. Killer Instinct now making its way to Steam. A lot of uh, games are on Microsoft's platform or exclusive, making its way to other platforms. And for good reason, if you think about it from a, a business standpoint, because that means that more money for Microsoft, instead of just limiting to themselves to just the Xbox One, is now becoming a media center for all gamers out there. Killer Instinct has crossplay with Steam. Uh, uh, Killer Instinct on Steam has crossplay between the Steam users, Windows 10, and Xbox One. We can all play together. Rocky League crossplay with Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and the PC, but no PlayStation for either. But this is what I love about gamers coming together and talking about games. I have two unboxes for you guys. Uh, one unboxing um, for a game that came out roughly three days ago, but I decided to pick it up on the day I picked up this game, which came out today on Nintendo Switch, on Nintendo Switch and it's exclusive. Before I talk about that, this is a 60 frames per second video. Uh, I'm not going to be bringing you guys a lot of videos. I'm going to be bringing you guys now gameplay videos. From now on, I have more opportunity, more time on my hands, and I promise you I will be doing it. More, more gameplay videos will be uploaded. In fact, I'm actually going to be doing a Dead by Daylight uh, marathon videos uploaded to YouTube, no commentary. Okay, um, I'm actually trying to see if I can actually remove even the webcam footage and just show you just the gameplay. And I'm only going to show you guys gameplay footage of me actually winning, not losing, because that's going to be boring. So it is what it is. I played uh, quite a bit of games with Afterlife Battlefront. I also want to initiate apology to Afterlife Battlefront and Demon Ralph if they're watching this video because I was not able to have, uh, uh, and I was not able to meet with you guys to have a gaming section. Um, I can. I think you guys went at 1 p.m., but I was not able to do it because I had to do. do ugh, I guess I can't talk. I had to take care of some errands first. Those were priorities number one, and then we get into gaming second. So I always got to take care of things. As you guys know, you see boxes in the background, all this other stuff, little run play, which I don't care about. I'm not ashamed of because I'm getting out of this <laughs> this place. And one more year, I'm out leaving out of California. I already set my day by December 2018. I'm out of California unless I get a uh, a, um, a fantastic job. Uh, at a apprenticeship, which I'm applying for here in California, uh, within um, two months after I apply for it in December of this year. So basically by the end of February 2018 or March 2018, if I don't get this job, I'm permanently out of California, period. But it doesn't matter. We've got to go back to what we're talking about today. Again, I just want to give shout-outs to Avalite Battlefront, Days Out of Enough 87, Hydro Fame, uh, uh, um, Retro Death. Uh, uh, shout-out to also um, Player Essence, a good um, YouTuber out there, Beers Francis, and then Nintendo uh, footage you've been showing. I've been getting a lot of my Nintendo news uh, from the Nintendo website called NintendoEverything.com. I'm obsessed with that website. They have a really bland um, format, but I honestly, I like it that way, to be honest with you. It's very, uh, very simple, not complicated, nothing flashy amongst that, no props, none of that. It's just a simple Nintendo website that just shows you literally everything about Nintendo. So today I have two unboxes to you guys, no more talking for two. And this is actually one of, had to be one of the best uh, special editions of any game I've ever encountered in video game history, and I'm not even a fan of this franchise, but it's developed by Koei Tecmo, and the other game is developed by Atlas. Uh, let's get the heck out of the way. Fire Emblem Warriors for the Nintendo Switch and Edison Odyssey. Let's put them together. Bam. Bam. Now, the frame rates have dropped drastically to like 20, but man, this is what you see right here. Okay. Now, this game came out on the 17th. I decided to pick it up. I have not beaten a single Edge and Odyssey game. I have bought, I have purchased Edge and Odyssey 4, and I've even purchased the remake of the first game. Uh, the it was, I believe, the Millennial Girl, but I still have not beaten any of them. So I made a promise to myself I'm going to beat this one, okay? Whenever I have time, okay? And Fire Emblem Warriors for the Nintendo Switch, exclusive and another IP. So. I also want to get this out of the way. I um, also I want to give really a special shout out to the Days Having Up 187 because he did a fantastic video destroying these Nintendo haters who keep telling that the Nintendo Switch has no games 
And I just want to show you the, the exclusives that the Nintendo Switch has and will have by the end of this year that everybody needs to know about. Uh, even games are brand exclusive, as in their own Nintendo platform, but it may not be a Switch exclusive, but they're brand exclusives and whatnot. But before I do that, I'm going to unbox this bad boy. So first off, we have Fire Emblem Special Edition. Again, just to show you guys right here. Okay, I don't think he's going to zoom in um, on this camera. I don't think so, no. No zooming in. I don't think I have that feature available. But anyway, it includes the Fire Emblem Warriors game. It includes a Fire Emblem Warriors car. Sorry, a Fire Emblem Warriors character car set. Fire Emblem Warriors poster. Love that stuff. I still got my Dragon Quest uh, um, banner over there. And also, I got Fire Emblem Warriors music CD set. Clues with three CDs. And, of course, you got your favorite characters. The top one, which everybody cares about the most, is Marth. I don't care about anyone else. And not that female version of Marth, the Fire Emblem Get the hell out of here. This is a classic Marth right here. We got, uh, I believe that's not Robin. Um, Is it Robin? I don't even freaking remember, man. I don't even care. No, Corn. I'm sorry. I still don't have Fire Emblem. I still have not even touched Fire Emblem. Uh... Um, Conquest or a uh, Fire Emblem Birthright, you know what I'm saying? Or Echoes for that mate, for that matter. And I don't think uh, Fire Emblem Echoes has those characters, but nevertheless, it is what it is. Fire Emblem um, Awakenings character, Poster Boy, Krom. Uh, you have uh, the Nutunu characters, and, I, and these other guys are one is from um, Conquest, don't remember who he is, and this other guy right here from Birthright. So I'm a person who favors Birthright, so it is what it is. I don't know why do we have we don't have any Birthright. Um, uh, I don't. I don't know why we really don't have any Fire Emblem Birthright amiibos. We have a Fire Emblem uh, Conquest amiibo for Corn, but not one for the other guys. Okay, whatever. Anyway, includes this, and this is a Chrome set like special edition. I will never ever sell this ever, 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 ever. You better believe this. That this darn thing is going to be worth so much. You better pre-order. You not pre-order this. You better get this now. Now, Amazon Best Buy. You better get it now. Probably already sold out at Best Buy, knowing how they th do things. So, again, it's developed. Uh, actually, I, I always forget. Um, I think it's published by Koei Tecmo, but Team Ninja and um, Omega Force. So, I think Omega Force is developing the game. Team Ninja, I guess, is facilitating the game as well. And Koei Tecmo is publishing it. But this uh, is the second installment of the Warriors franchise on the Nintendo platform. We have Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U, which also got ports to the 3DS, which I have not played. And then, of course, we also have Fire Emblem Warriors. Now, I have not played a Warriors-like game since Dynasty Warriors 7. Okay? Been a while. And I don't play Warriors games at all. In fact, the only Dynasty Warriors game I've ever played that I've actually enjoyed thoroughly was Dynasty Warriors 3 for the PlayStation 2. That was the only one was a Dynasty Warriors 4. I was good. I think it's Dynasty Warriors 3. But one on the PS2, and I'm telling you, I had a blast with that one. But I'm going to get back into Dynasty Warriors 9 because now it's going to be open world Dynasty Warriors game. And that I'm looking forward to. They're going to be taking advantage of a new engine with new graphics and actually up a notch. And, of course, I'm getting on PC, which means there's going to be 60 frames per second. Okay. So I'm looking forward to this game on the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to make sure I install the updates. And I will be playing a little bit today. But I'm mostly going to be playing some Dead by Daylight. And I will be uploading some content about Dead by Daylight. So let's unbox this bad boy, and I also will unbox Edison Odyssey 5, uh, the Beyond the Myth for the Nintendo 3DS. Okay, so let's get right down to it. So, of course, you see the Nintendo Switch unbox, uh, Nintendo Switch logo on the right-hand corner of the box, and, of course, the Nintendo logo in, on the header of the box. <clears throat> and, uh, of course, uh, man, really, I don't want to damage the box, but I have to use my keys. Uh, I've already actually looked like I already damaged the box. It's just that these things, I mean, as a man, we're not supposed to have no long fingers like a female. And I'm just, uh, oh, God, I already damaged the box. <laughs> She's not. But who cares? You can see I've already damaged the darn thing, but I really don't care. Is what it is. The collection editions, let's get right down to it. Okay, so first things first. Uh, this is the, actually, I'll do that last. We have the Fire Emblem. Warriors poster. Okay, this is the chronological uh, release of all the fire. Uh, the, the fire. No, actually, I don't think so. This is not all of them, but these are um, these are the chronological order of the Fire Emblem games for, for I guess in the last uh, God knows how long uh, for the platforms. But Fire Emblem. Um, poster is missing quite a few games on here so what you have on here if you can't see is you have the fire emblem for the game boy advance fire emblem 
Shadow Dragon, Fire Emblem Awakening, Conquest, Birthright, Shadow of Valentia, Echoes, and Fire Emblem Warriors Nintendo Switch game, okay? And it shows you the characters on this poster. I'll, I'll try to show it to you guys. Uh, man, you see Marv, you see other characters, Tiki, and all these other characters you guys love so much. Kata, Lynn, uh, Kron, Lisa, Robin, all of Frederick, Cordelia, Lucy, Lucina, all the characters that you love so much in the Fire Emblem franchise, they're right here on this poster. And there's also a Japanese version right here if you like that too. But, of course, I cannot understand Japanese fully. Okay, so I'm going to post it on, on this side. This the, the Japanese side will be on the wall. Okay, so, of course, it's not going to be on this wall because I'm going to be posting this in my new apartment. So, don't even worry about that. Next up, the Nintendo Switch game itself. Let's get this bad boy unboxed, okay? <coughs> so... If you guys haven't heard, uh, Super Mario Odyssey is dropping next week from today, okay, on Friday. And by the way, I also want to make an uh, make um, uh, announcement that Super Mario Odyssey is going to have a gameplay event tomorrow at Best Buy, at your local Best Buy. So make sure you look, visit your local Best Buy for Super Mario Odyssey. It's going to be dope. And also, if you pre-order the game by 5 p.m. on Thursday, okay, you will get a $10 reward certificate, okay, ten to, at 5 p.m., in your standard time. So here in, in, in you know, California, 5 p.m., but if you're in East Coast, like New York, you know what I'm saying, my boy, uh, what's his name? Um, Dave's having up 187, who lives in Tennessee, is three hours ahead. So that means right now, like for example, it's 11.07 right now, it would be 2.07 in his time frame, okay? So it is what it is. But nevertheless, uh, there will be a Super Mario Odyssey event, so you can try a Super Mario Odyssey with Nintendo Switch. I'm not going to spoil myself. I have looked at literally almost no footage of Super Mario Odyssey except for that trailer that was shown at E3 and also when the Nintendo Switch was first confirmed for the Nintendo Switch, okay? So, uh, hey, if you want to do it at your own expense, go ahead and do it. So I unboxed the bad boy, and of course, just nothing but the cartridge itself and also the case itself, okay? The back is basically, I guess, a map of the region of whatever you are at. Uh, again, I want to show you guys the box art. Okay, Fire Emblem Warriors Nintendo Switch logo on the right hand side, and also I want to show you guys the uh, the um the quote. It says the strongest bonds are forged in battle. Um, oh, this is in um oh wow, this is in um in uh, French. So you can see for yourself. Um, again, um, you can see it. it. Is what it is. You got that. <clears throat> so you got also uh the Fire Emblem original sound selection. Okay, uh, so it's pretty dope. Again, this is freaking awesome. Uh, this darn thing will go on for quite some price. I mean, I'm, I'm a sucker for uh, uh, collector's edition. I really am a sucker for them. I really like these type of props. Japanese developers know how to make special editions. There are very few developers who know how to do that as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, uh, like uh, uh, Square Enix, when it comes to um, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. That was a, I, I did unboxing on that. It looks dope. Okay, here you go. So, okay, I, I got I gotta give props to 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 Koei Tecmo or Q Force or whoever did this. I, I don't really don't care. This is the best. This is hands down the best, the best looking soundtrack um collection I have ever seen in my life. Hands down, three discs. I got I gotta give nothing but respect. I have to give my props and respect. Look at this bad boy. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. Number one, right here on my left-hand side of the video. Marth from the original Fire Emblem. Number two, Korn from Fire Emblem Conquest. And number three, okay, Lin from the original Fire Emblem on the on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> okay? That's respect. Okay? That's respect. So this is the front right here. Open it. The soundtracks are posted here. I'll read if you read you a few soundtracks of the soundtracks. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. There are oh, the soundtracks are not posted here. Okay, I'm sorry. It doesn't tell you what the soundtracks are, so it is what it is. So uh, I may actually upload these to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I actually, may upload the entire Fire Emblem uh, soundtrack to YouTube. Might as well. You know, so hopefully I don't get flagged or anything like by Nintendo. I'll do it actually made today. We'll see how things go. Okay, so that's that's dope. And lastly, this is the car set right here. Now again, now this is what I want to see. I thought this was just simply a bunch of a few like cards. That were just like Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? Like collectible cards. But I really want to see what this massive box of cards are. Like, what is this? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, hey, respect. Well, the first one you see here is Anna. I don't know who that is, so nor do I care. Maybe a new character. I don't know what Fire Emblem she's from, but I don't care. I've Again, like I said, the only Fire Emblem game I played was Fire Emblem Awakening. That's it. <laughs> and then, of course, the original Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. You know what I'm saying? So I know who Lynn is. You know what I'm saying? Respect to that. Anybody who doesn't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I again, I have not played the latest Fire Emblem games, but it is what it is. So... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm starting right now. I'm just so ecstatic, and uh, man, I'm just telling you, these special editions that these Japanese developers make are just off the chain. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is amazing. So we got a lot of cards, a lot of cards, and these chicks look gorgeous. Anna, or wherever she's from, okay? <clears throat> Lynn, the hottest chick in Fire Emblem, hands down. Real talk. And, and by the way, she's not wearing no undergarments, no panties or anything like that, wearing this, wherever this, uh, I think, I forgot what this, this type of Japanese outfit is called, but no, she's actually wearing shorts like she's meant to be, these, these Japanese developers be perverted and whatnot, uh, Seleka, Seleka, is that how you pronounce it, from Fire Emblem Echoes, Tiki, Kata, I know it's coming, Mars, <laughs> Elise from Fire Emblem Awakening. Sakura, the ones that every man wants to <laughs> know about. The most ridiculous outfit. Camilla, okay. Leo. Hanoka. Takumi. Xander. Roma. That's what I was thinking about. Fire Emblem Conquest. Corn. Female. Corn, male. Lucina. Fire Emblem Warriors. I mean, Fire Emblem. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Fire Emblem Awakening. Cordelia. Fire Emblem Awakening. Frederick. Fire Emblem Awakening. Lisa. Fire Emblem Awakening. Robin, male. I'm sorry, female. I'm sorry. Robin, male. Oopsie. Chrome. Liana. And Rohan. These are the, uh, these are the, uh, I'm assuming these are the Fire Emblem Warriors new characters. So, uh, if they're from any other Fire, Fire Emblem game, please let me know. Um, but I guess they're new characters. So, I, again, I'm completely, when it comes to Nintendo game, when it comes to video games in general, I tend not to inform myself about the video game as if I'm obsessed with it. Like, for example, if there was a Final Fantasy VI remake or a new Time Splitters, I would be on that bad boy every day, okay? Or I would do, I would, uh, or Doom. Doom was another one. The Doom remake that came out in 2016, I was all over that, okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm a hardcore Doom fan. So, that's the entire card set. It goes in this little uh, socket right here. Put it right there in there. I'm sorry, it's like that, bam. And then you cover it. Looks dope. And uh, I said Elise uh, earlier. She's from Fire Emblem uh, Conquest, not Fire Emblem um, uh, Awakening. I'm sorry. So that's pretty much it, folks, for the entire Fire Emblem Collector's Edition. I want to get that out of the way. I'm looking forward to playing a little bit. Um, so uh, I'm actually going to leave the soundtrack so I can actually upload the soundtrack to YouTube. So it is what it is. I know somebody probably beat me to it. You know, so that's how these YouTubers are. They're, whoever gets the soundtrack first, hell, they probably already uploaded freaking a couple of days ago. Anyway, got that. And, um... Now I'm going to unbox Edison Odyssey. What's it called again? Beyond the Myth. Okay. Again, never been in a single Edison Odyssey game for the Nintendo 3DS. I bought four day one, bought one Millennium Gold day one, but I've never been any of them. So now I'm really going to put my money where my mouth is. I got to find time to beat these games. I have to find time. Okay. So we have the Edition Odyssey 5, the art and sound adventure right here. Bam. It's a, a you get, again, you get not only a soundtrack, but you also get a art book. I don't want to, well, I guess I'll show you guys the entire art book. So this is the first page. Here's a track list right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it. The track's names are Town 1, Town 2, Dungeon 1, Normal Battle 1, FOE Battle Dungeon 2. So six soundtracks. Uh, first class, I think it's uh, Fencer and Dragoon. Pugilists, I guess these are Gypsies, and Harbinger. Warlock, Necromancer. 
Rover and Masurao. I don't know what Masurao, Masurao, Masurao. You can see that title right there, Masurao. I don't know how to pronounce that. Shaman and botanist. I think it might be a botanist. No, yeah. I love botany. I really do. I have my own garden. I grow my own fruits and vegetables, potatoes. I grow uh, carrots, corn, tomatoes, etc. Rough sketch. Some of the characters. Uh, rough sketch again. Next sketch. Next page. Next page. Sorry, it's not fully clear because I don't have on, on, on uh, a lot. A little mini comic. And soundtrack. Bam. At E05. Okay. So uh, don't expect uh, the next. E <laughs> don't expect the next uh, Edison Odyssey game to come soon. I would actually like. Uh, I would like um, uh, Atlas to make an Edison Odyssey game for the Switch. You know what I'm saying? Like Nintendo can make some development and whatnot, but Switch on deck, man. Nintendo Switch is the best console I have played in a, quite a long time next to the PlayStation 4. I really do. And the reason why I have my Xbox One, I told you guys before, is backwards compatibility, and there are a few exclusives like Halo Master Collection and Forza 5, and there's a ridiculous amount of deals for games that you can get elsewhere. And like, like I said again, um, the uh, cross-play, I mean, just ridiculous. And again, like I said, backwards compatibility, OG Xbox backwards compatibility, I'm about to buy me some OG Xbox games for my uh, Xbox went in hopes that we those some of these games will become backwards compatible, like Panzer Dragon Orta. With that confirmation E3 was Phil Spencer. I got no respect for it. Okay, so we get um uh you know uh, our book uh we get a I guess it's a hold on we got flyer I'm sorry and we get um Anderson Odyssey five cartridge uh let me see we open the back cover you can see uh I can't I don't want to take it out right now I really don't sorry but it's a a list of the classes and square boxes and um. The next set of games coming out um, are, I don't know if they're actually are out, but uh, we got, uh, like I said, Edge Dogs in the front cover. We got Shimmer Garment Tennessee Strength Journey, which I will be picking up. I will be picking that up for the 3DS. We got Radiant Historia, okay? I never played uh, Strange Journey, so I, I don't have a problem with that. And um, again, I guess that's it. Radiant Historia, I don't know when that comes out, but I did see that on pre-order constantly when I was going through the 3DS games on Amazon.com. So it is what it is. So, folks, that's it. That's all the inboxes I have. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm actually going to be uploading quite a bit of videos today to make up for all the stuff I've been doing. So, um, pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. So, also, I wanted to get back earlier to what I was saying about uh, the Nintendo Switch dominating this year. The exclusives have dropped on the Nintendo Switch. It's just utterly mind-blowing. And if you know any other uh, Switch exclusives that I missed in this video, please put it in the comment section so I can update the list in a future sense. Because I really want to have this conversation with Day 7 up about the amount of games that are dropping Nintendo Switch. Because people wanted to talk about the first year, because when we're, because when, um, let's say, Day 7 up was doing a stream, and RXL and other people out there, you know what I'm saying, who are very pessimistic about the uh, Switch, including Hydro Fan, which I love very dearly. Uh, these people were talking about, uh, especially more and more to RXL, because he, he, he's the one that's really arrogant about that Switch really has no games, and it's basically Wii U 2.0 and blah, blah, blah. But the, the Switch has had more exclusives in this first year. In fact, it hasn't been a full year yet. We still have to wait till March 2018 of next year to get the full amount of games coming out. Okay? But nevertheless, okay, with the Nintendo Switch, we have had more exclusives uh, within so far of its release since March 17th uh, this year to October 20th, 2017 of this year. Okay, with another exclusive right here. Okay, counting. Okay. And another one coming out next week on Friday. That's ridiculous. Along with other games like Wolfenstein 2 The Colossus, which I will be, I will try, I'm going to see if I can live stream that game. Because I love Wolfenstein The Day I Die. Okay? And also, Assassin's Creed Origins. I mean, just just so many games coming out. And Destiny 2, by the way, comes out on Tuesday, October 24th. So, uh, again, just so many games coming. But anyway, so many games that came out within uh, March 2017 on the Switch to October 20th, 2017 on today. Again, like I said, including this. Okay? Uh... And more so than the first year of the PlayStation 4 since November of 2013 to November 2014. Now, I counting all the schools I can think of, the the uh, the PlayStation 4 had Drive Club, it had 
uh, Infamous Second Son. I said Order 1886 in the stream, but that came out in 2015. It got, it got delayed. It was supposed to come out in 2014, but it got delayed. Honestly, that game should have came out at launch. Then it went so, so poorly. Anyway, we got that. Uh, we had, um, what else we had? We had Bloodborne didn't come out either. That was 2015. What else do we have for the, for the PlayStation 4? We had Drive Club. We have Infamous Second Son. We had Kills on Shadowfall. We had Knack. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. There was probably one more game, and actually I want to look it up, uh, of the PlayStation 4 exclusives, PS4 exclusives of 2014 exclusives. I really want to see what games were exclusive to the PlayStation 4 that came out with, between 2013 of November and 2014. So I can show you guys, really, there's not that big amount of games coming. Because most of the games that are coming out from the PlayStation 4 are a lot of indies. You know, deep down, we still never got that. We still have not got deep down. We got Daylight. We got Mercenaries Kings. We got Tower Ascension. We got a lot of third-party games like, you know, Dragon Age uh, Inquisition and Dying Light and stuff like that. Fire Emblem. Um, not Fire Emblem. I'm sorry. Uh, we had, uh, what's that game called? We had, um. What's that game called? We had uh, Final Fantasy XIV and Realm Reborn, an MMO. We had Hell Divers, which was temporary exclusive, then it got ported to PC. So technically you can count that, but no, it's no longer exclusive. It's a council exclusive, but it still doesn't count. But um, what else I'm sure? And will be the 14th of the show. So you had five exclusives. Knack, Killzone Shadowfall, Infamous Second Son, uh, Drive Club, and Elmo B 14th of the show. That's five exclusives. Now let me show you how many exclusives that came out on the PlayStation. I mean, that came out on the Switch. Scribble Knots, okay, one. Never listen whether you like it or not, that's exclusive. One, two, three, Switch, that's an exclusive. No matter how much you think that's complete and utter rubbish, okay? Arms, three. Splatoon, two, four. Super Mario Odyssey, five. Fire Emblem Warriors, six. Xenoblade uh, uh, Chronicles, two, seven. Super Bomberman R, eight. Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, nine. Okay, now those are so far nine exclusives for the Nintendo Switch. Okay, we're again we're in October, so we don't know what's going to be coming out in November. He's, uh, we know that, again Xenoblade Two is coming out December first, two thousand and uh, seventeen this year. We don't know what's going to be coming out January, February, and March, but we're going to count all the exclusives up to March of two thousand eighteen. Uh, we may get Kirby, we may get uh, Yoshi. Who knows? Okay, we'll see. But as of now, the Switch has nine exclusives. Nine. Oh, yeah, not. So I also want to count other games that are brand exclusives and remakes that are technically exclusive, okay? So we got games um, like, Mon oh, another exclusive, Monster Hunter XX. That's exclusive on the Switch as well. That's 10 exclusives, but that's only available in Japan. We may get that here in America, so who knows? Now, the remakes would be something like uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2. Now, that's a remake or, uh, per se, a remaster on the Switch, Okay, we're not talking about just okay upscaling some uh, a game that came out in 2000. I'm mean, sorry, it came out in 1990s on the Super Nintendo and then upscaled that. No, this is actually a full fledged graphical like boost, like totally like you know built up. So technically, you can count as a remake. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, it's still exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. You also have Breath of the Wild. That's a brand exclusive, meaning that's on the Wii U and on the Switch only on the Nintendo platforms. Okay. Not on PC, not on Xbox, not on PlayStation. This only on the Nintendo brand platforms. Fire Emblem Warriors, I also said that uh, it was an exclusive. I was wrong. It's also on the 3DS. So that's not exclusive. That's a brand exclusive. Okay? That's not a full-on uh, Nintendo Switch exclusive. That is a brand exclusive. Okay? Even though the versions of the 3DS and the, and the Switch may be a little different, nevertheless, it's still a brand exclusive. I won't count this. So it's actually, again, going back to what I said earlier, nine exclusives. And then you also have Pokemon Tournament DX, okay? That's a remaster, a port, per se. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, again, a port, so we won't count that, but that's a brand exclusive. And I think uh, that's it. So, oh, and also we do have an indie Switch exclusive, that is Blast Master Zero, but we don't know if that's ever going to come out to other platforms, so I won't bank on that. But right now the Switch has nine exclusives. Again, Scribble Knots, 1, 2, 3 Switch, Arms, Platoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade 2, Monster Hunter XX, Super Bomberman R, and that's it. Oh, and Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. It's nine exclusives. Brain exclusives, Breath of the Wild, Fire Emblem Warriors, Pokemon Tournament DX, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Okay? 
and India exclusive Blastmaster Zero. So there you have it, folks. So this notion that the the, the Switch has less exclusives uh, or no games is ridiculous. It's nonsense. I got only three games on the Switch. I'm sorry, I got four games on the Switch, and that's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, five games. Puyo Puyo Tetris, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Fire Emblem Warriors now, and The Legends of the Breath of the Wild. That's what I got. And I will be picking up Street Fighter 2 from Best Buy if there's a sale for it at um, Black Friday of this year. So it is what it is, folks. So, and um, it's just utterly nonsense. I will be picking up Super Mario Odyssey next week as well. So, again, it's just utterly nonsense to, to, to make the argument that the Switch has uh, less games in its first year, which hasn't been a full year yet, than the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 has only had five games. So it's utterly nonsense. So Nintendo keeps on dominating. Keep doing what you do best. And, again, I just want to hear this nonsense from Nintendo gamers. I'm sorry, from these uh, these Nintendo haters out there. Um, again, Hydro Fame, again, respect to you, man. But RXL, man, he's a straight-up troll. He's always been trolling for years. You know what I'm saying? The man has a complete, utter, paranoid, sarcastic sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell. You can't You can't discern whether this man is serious or he's telling a joke. You know what I'm saying? He's good at trolling. So it is what it is. But other than that, that was my Fire Emblem Warriors unboxing. That was my X-5 unboxing. Uh, what's it called again? Beyond the Myth. And, of course, that was my take on the aspect of Nintendo Switch. Nintendo is dominating. You know what I'm saying? But I also want to shout out to my boy, Wolflow. Again, shout out, uh, uh, subscribe to his um his video game enthusiast page. Again, I also want to say that trading his Nintendo Switch for that PC Master Race was a smart decision. Nintendo Switch comes later. The Nintendo Switches are back, back uh, by the way, in stock on Amazon. So you can go get yourself one. But Nintendo is going to be dominating. And the Nintendo Switch at this rate will continue to sell. Because we know the developers or Nintendo CEO uh, said that he wanted the Switch to be better than the Wii. And I hope it is. So it is what it is. Third party doing well, Doom, Skyrim. I'm I'm not picking up Doom because it's blasphemy that a Doom game is 30 frames per second. That's blasphemy. I won't support that. But I will support Skyrim on the Switch. That's going to be the probably the only third party game that is not exclusive that I will be buying on the Switch ever. I was going to get Resident Evil Revelations on the Switch, but I decided not to because you know I, I bought on multiple platforms. I might got the I'm I'm because I, I do want to get Resident Evil Revelations on the Switch, but I don't want to buy it for Revelations 2. Because Revelation 2 is the worst in the franchise. And it's 30 frames per second. But I hope Revelations on the Switch is 60 frames per second. We don't have a frame rate update. If it's 30 frames, I'm not buying it. Don't care if it's on the go. If it's 30 frames, I'm not buying it. So it is what it is. So anyway, if you guys want to know, uh, if you want to add me on the Nintendo Switch, I will put my friend code or my friend, I think it's my friend code, you know what I'm saying, uh, in the description. SW, I think it was SW something. Uh, but I'll put it in the description so you guys can add me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the people out there again. Wolf Flow, Days Have No Fun 87, uh, Hydro Fame, uh, uh, Afterlife like Battlefront. Um, again, Crew Hit 64. He's got he got like his fifth channel. Rip Demon Ralph and all those people out there. Uh, um, one Stop, Bear Hugger, Bear Hugger, Bear Hugger 29, and all you great YouTubers out there. Keep on doing what you do best, and baby girls well. Peace out. You guys have a great day.